On June 5th, for the first time ever, France plays host to Glory 22. Stand Up Fighting's finest knockout artists descend on Lil for a night of devastating action for the kickboxing connoisseur. The formidable Glory heavyweight world champion Rico Verhoeven prepares to defend his position as the crown prince of kickboxing against rising Romanian star Benjamin Adegbui in a bout that promises to be a technical tour de force. And Kyria, Sivija Jansi go head-to-head -head in the thrilling lightweight contender tournament to see who gets the chance to face Robin Pokerface Van Roosmullen for a shot at the title. Glory 22 France. Get ready for glory. Welcome to Glory 22, the road to the heavyweight championship. I've traveled over 5,000 miles to Amsterdam to visit glory heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven. June 5th, he puts his title on the line against Romanian challenger Benjamin Agdegbui in what's sure to be an all-out war. Also at Glory 22, you're in for a special treat as the lightweight contender tournament takes place. And what does the victory mean? A shot at taking the title away from current champion Robin Van Roosmullen. Four men, three fights, two semis, one final, all in one night. The Glory Contender Tournament. A unique four-man, one-night elimination event that earns the winner the right to a future title shot and the chance to become a Glory World Champion. Strategy, conditioning, and injuries are key. All in for a fast knockout? Or play a tactical game, score points, and conserve your energy for the final. With little chance for recovery, the semifinal winners will advance to the final. The winner is declared the contender and earns his shot at the world title. Four men, three fights, two semis, one final, all in one night. All for the shot at the title, for a shot at glory. June 5th sees the lightweight contender tournament, and our first semifinal is an intercontinental clash between Canada's Josh Johnson and France's Chris Vasuku. And in the second, acrobatic fan favorite David Kiri starts his campaign to regain his world title as he faces off against Thailand's rising star, Sinichai Sitsong Pinong. The winner will earn a shot at the lightweight world champion title later this year. Glory 22, Lille, France, June 5th. Don't miss it. This tournament is anyone's to win. And one fighter that could do just that is Canada's Josh Johnson. I'll sit down with Josh when Glory 22 from Amsterdam continues. The biggest brand in kickboxing brings the biggest stars in the fighting world. For the first time in France, Glory 22, June 5th at the Grand Stadium Lille. Dutch superstar Rico Verhoeven defends his heavyweight world title for the second time. And the unmissable lightweight tournament will determine the next contender to the ferocious Robin Van Roosmullen for the title at Glory 22, France. June 5th, only on Spike, 4 p.m. Eastern. The lightweight contender tournament features France's Chris Basuku and three of the top five ranked contenders. Number two, David Kiria. Number three, Sinichai Sitsong Pinong. And number five, Josh Johnson. I am sitting here with Josh Johnson, participant in uh, Glory 22's upcoming lightweight contender tournament. Now, Josh, uh, on your stats, it said you're from Vancouver, but talking to you for about three seconds, I don't believe that for one second. <laughs> What's up? Well, no, I am from Vancouver. Uh, I live there, but I was born in England. Uh, lived uh, yeah, in London until I was about three years old. And then my family and I, we all moved over to, to Vancouver to open a gym and yeah, live. Contender tournament, Glory 22. Tell us about your next fight. Yeah, it's a big one. For me, it's yeah, probably my biggest fight uh, to date. Break down the two opponents that you could possibly fight in the next round. One of them is David Curia. Uh, he used to have the belt, the glory belt. So it'd be, a, you know, it'd be a big deal for me to beat him as well. He can do everything as well. He can do spinning kicks, rolling thunder kicks. He, and his boxing is really, really improving. But I'm a lot taller than him. And I'm, a bi I'm bigger than him. And I can do everything he can do. What if he loses? 
then I fight Sidichai. And tell me a little bit about what you face with him. He's a good one. He's probably one of the top three or five ties in the world. I'd say that's a little understatement. He's, yeah. he's, a, he's a real good one. Yeah, he's a really good one. Beating everyone in this tournament is very important to me, but that has a bit of a sentimental value to me, to be, you know, to be a tie. And uh, yeah, he's really good as well. He's got a hard left kick. He's southpaw, which makes it a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. um, but he's got flaws. Everyone's got flaws. Yeah, obviously, the winner of the contender tournament gets a shot at the title. Yeah. Why is that important to you at this point in your career? If I win this, when I win this, I'll be able to fight uh, for the title. And there's nothing more I've ever wanted in my whole life. This is my dream since I was three years old. What's your, what's your specialty? You know, I'm, I'll hit you from everywhere. And I'm, gonna, and I'm not going to stop hitting you <laughs> from non And you're not going to hit me very much. Gotcha. Are you talking specifically me? Because there's no way I could hit you because there's no way I could catch you. <laughs> I don't want to get hit by you. <laughs> is there anybody that's hungrier than you? No, I don't think so. I've been working this out since I was three. <laughs> I've been training since I was three years old. My dad was a champion, uh, and I, you know, I want to follow in his footsteps and make a name for myself as well. What, se what separates you from other people who have that same goal? Our life revolves around the sport. Mm -hmm. We own a gym. My mom's a personal trainer. Uh, my brother is also my, one of my trainers. Um, my dad is, you know, it's, it's a whole family thing. We all work together for one common goal. Anybody who's watched the product uh, Glory Kickboxing knows who Josh Johnson is inside of the ring. Tell me who he is outside of the ring. I'm just a normal guy. I'm a normal guy who, uh, yeah, I watch, uh, I watch Steinfeld a lot. I like, I like comedy. You live in an apartment? You live in a house? Where do you live? No, I live with my parents. I'm live only, with your parents? I'm only 22. See, right? there you go. And I'm not at the top yet, so I can't afford an apartment yet. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you mow the grass for him? Me? No, it's good. We live in a townhouse. We don't have any grass. Aye, it's fine. <laughs> I clean dishes, though, and I cook nice. occasionally. Josh, it's been a pleasure, man. Thank I appreciate it greatly. I appreciate it. Before we get to the heavyweight title bout coming up at Glory 22, here's a look back at the incredible middleweight title bout at Glory 21 San Diego, where Artem Levin held on by the slimmest of margins to defeat Simon Marcus in a match that will be talked about for a long, long time. In the clinch, the knee is more like a jab. Yeah, well, unless you bring your straight up the middle, because if you do a body lock clinch, you can only slap with the knees. Spinning back, but blocked. Stop! Get out! Get out! Knees by Levin. Go! Coming up on the midpoint of the first round. No wrestling, guys. You're wrestling. You're gonna go. Let's go. From Bulkow, that last time they trained. Couple right of right. left hooks to the body by Levin. Spinning back fist. Marcus blocked it coming forward. Stop. A minute remaining okay. in the first round. Right, you know, it's interesting because. Oh, left hand kick by Marcus. Marcus has landed two Stop. really hard kicks so far in this in. round. And he kind of had a smirk on his face when he go. looked into the eyes of Levin. He did not do when he fought the guy in oh. China. Nice. Kick by Levin, and they exchange there. Levin ducking underneath. Marcus attack a knee to the middle. Left kick to the body by Marcus. Eats that punch from Levin. Now the action picking up here. Past the minute mark of the second round. More concise strikes were landed. Oh, stiff jab by Levin. Another counter jab by Le Marcus. And you wonder how much more of this clutch work is Rosales going to allow before maybe deducting a point? Immediately in the clinch. Oh. Right hand, but there, right from Levin, the jab by Levin, and immediately goes to the clinch again. Oh, nice. front kick to the face by Marcus. 15 seconds remaining the round. Marcus catches it, and he does what Levin, that's called a receipt, my man. Oh, another front kick to the face by Marcus, picking his spots, making it count. And now time becoming a factor. The champions hold on the gold in a precarious position. Marcus saying, come on, bring it. Well, this decision will be debated on social media for a long time to come by the hair of his chinny chin chin, Artem the Lion Levin. Hangs on to the glory middleweight title via majority draw. When we come back, I'll sit down with champ Rico Verhoeven as he gets ready to defend his title on June the 5th in France. The biggest brand in kickboxing brings the biggest stars in the fighting world for the first time in France. Glory 22, June 5th at the Grand Stadium Lille. Dutch superstar Rico Verhoeven defends his heavyweight world title for the second time. And the unmissable lightweight tournament will determine the next contender to the ferocious Robin Van Roosmalen for the title at Glory 22, France. June 5th, only on Spike, 4 p.m. Eastern.
if someone's tuning in for the first time, they've never seen Glory, they've never seen Rico fight, what can they expect when they see you get in the ring? Are you that nice guy that you are sitting here right now? The little baby face, you know, they got two girls at home. What are they gonna see? Uh, of course, of course, I'm that nice guy, but I, when I step in the ring, I change. In the ring, it's business and it's work and I have to focus and I respect every opponent that I have. But in the end, you know, you're just gonna get smashed if you're in front of me. Okay, what's your style? Are you a bruiser? Uh, are you a counterpuncher? For me, uh, when the fight starts, my opponent is like a book. What I mean with that is I wanna know for like 80 or 90% what is coming when I, when I do something. Mm -hmm. So I want to hit you, move, hit you again, move. So I don't wanna stay in the fight because I want to get hit as less, as less as possible. Mm. In the end, it's not good for the head. You're tactical. Yeah. You're not the normal heavyweight. I mean, and watching you fight and kind of breaking you down, you don't move like a heavyweight. There's no question. You don't think like a heavyweight. And you, you, your, your game plan is surely not typical of a normal heavyweight. I'm never going to be the hardest hitting, hitting heavyweight that is important to be able to say stuff like that you should be able to see where you lack mm -hmm. and be, ha be confident and have the confidence to say, hey, I lack this, but I'm incredible at this. Mm -hmm. I think it makes you as well as a better fighter, as a better human being. That's why I think this sport and this respect and this discipline is so good for, for the youth of these days. You can't do this on your own. You Definitely know, you're, not. you're Rico, but uh, when you go back to your corner, you need instructions. You need somebody to guide you. What do you think of Dennis? What does he mean to you? Uh, when you ask that, you see, yeah, I, got, I yeah, get, a, get, that. A, get a goosebumps, you know. It's uh, uh, try not to get emotional because, you know, he's so important to me. Yeah. He's like a, definitely like a father figure. And... I learned so much from him, so much. Uh, it's like I said, it's not just the kickboxing part, but just I grew so much because of him, just as a human being, you know. How long you been doing this, martial arts? Period. Yeah, from what, six years, and I'm now 26. So for 20 years. Straight. 20 years. Okay, you've been in a long time, man. Yeah. You know, you're getting old. You might want to retire. I know. I know. <laughs> um, what, what What motivates you? What What makes you come in the gym every day? Of course, that belt. Finally, I have the belt and I want to keep the belt. So that's one of my motivations. Of course, uh, my family definitely is a, a big motivation because I just want to make sure I provide for them and just bring in this sport to the level that it deserves to be on. That's, the, that's what I feel like. That's my, my mission that I'm here for. And I think I'm able to do that. And I will do that if it's gonna take like forever. It doesn't matter, but but I will do that because people will say Rico he brought kickbox to the next level. That's a pact. I'll make that with you because that's why I'm here. Yeah. I may not be able to do it in the ring like you, but I'm here to raise awareness to this sport because I think it's the it's the coolest combat sport on the planet. When we come back, we'll take a look at Rico's opponent, number two ranked and undefeated in glory, Romania's Benjamin Adegbui. It's time for
What does our challenger and Count Dracula have in common? Well, they're both from Transylvania. And at 18 and 2 overall and 3 and 0 in glory, let's meet Benjamin Adegbui. My name is Benjamin Adegbui. I'm from Romania, Transylvania, the place of Dracula. Adegbui from Transylvania smells blood and is going for the kill. I'm 3 and 0 in glory, and my first two fights I win by KO against two heavyweights, two big heavyweights, Dimitri Bezos and Daniel Sam. My last fight, I win it on points against a good fighter, one of the best in the heavyweight division, against Hezi Gerges. My next fight will be on 5 June, friends, against Rico Verhoeven, the reigning champion. This fight is uh, the most important fight of my life because not only is the title shot, you know, the heavyweight title, but I want to prove to myself that in four years, if you have enough talent and uh, you train hard enough, you can be the champion in a short time. For all people that are watching glory kickboxing and real heavyweights, they should watch me because I have charisma, I have a good kickboxing, knockout power always, I have all in one, so watch me. In my opinion, Rico, it's a good fighter, but is not the best fighter in the heavyweight division. I think he trains hard, but for me, it's boring. Everybody says about it, he don't have knockout power. Maybe this is his weakest point. He don't have a good boxing. He don't put a lot of power in his fist. He don't have my speed, and I think this will be the key. Heavyweight is different. You have to always try to knock people out, putting in a great show. He is fighting different. He's fighting to take points winning and I don't like this style. This time I'll be in the best shape of my life. I get knockout power, I have skills, combination, everything I need to, to win against Rico. Everybody's talking about him, that he will gonna retain the belt for a long time, but this time will stop. I will win the, the, the belt and bring it home. In my opinion, I think I'll take the belt and I'm planning to keep it as long as possible. I want to be a heavyweight champion for a long time. Man. Watch me destroy Rico Verhoeven's dreams. I'll be the champion. Yo, Rico, can't wait to knock your head off. You got a fight coming up. Tell me about it. Benny Adekbuyu, mm -hmm. to the Romanian. I think like a year or a year and a half ago, uh, I already told in an interview this guy is coming up because you just see somebody's technique and when you just see like, hey, this guy, he's gonna be, he's gonna be big one day, but it's not gonna be- Not at your expense. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not gonna be the 5th of June, but he's gonna be there someday. Is there a defining moment in this fight? Is this just another stepping stone for you? All the other, other guys I fought were like already big positioned names. Mm -hmm. They were already in the sport for like years, even before me. Mm -hmm. So, and now this guy, he's just coming up. He's fresh. He's like a, you know, like a lion. He's just here. And he's like you were. Just like I was, yeah. But he lacks some experience because a few years ago, I already had more experience than he had. He has right now. He's a new guy. He's coming up. He's getting a chance for the belt. So he's going to be hungry. He's dangerous, no especially he doesn't have anything to lose. Benjamin said some things on Twitter about you and your inability to knock guys out. Okay. Do you take any of that personally or do you just look at it as a way that uh, he's trying to get you off your game or is he speaking the truth? I, I, I don't know. How do you look at it? Uh, well, you know, in the end, in the heavyweight game, everybody can get knocked out. Mm -hmm. But in the end, I want my win percentage to be like 90 to 95 percent. And I'm not going to put that percentage in, in danger to go for a coin flip yeah. and just rumble with somebody and see what happens. What's the number one thing that I'm gonna look out for? What's your most dangerous aspect of your game? Getting hit with the kicks. Anybody looks at my legs, it lifts like tree trunks. You know, it's, when you get hit by one of my legs, you won't like it and you will definitely feel it. Um, we're done, but I got one more thing that I want you to do. Yeah. Obviously, you know there are cameras around us. Look at that camera. Act as if it's your opponent and tell him what's gonna happen. Benny, you're a great fighter, you're talented, but you're not ready for Rico. Appreciate it, Thanks, man. man. Big fan, dude.
The biggest brand in kickboxing brings the biggest stars in the fighting world for the first time in France. Glory 22, June 5th at the Grand Stadium Lille. Dutch superstar Rico Verhoeven defends his heavyweight world title for the second time. And the unmissable lightweight tournament will determine the next contender to the ferocious Robin Van Roosmullen for the title at Glory 22, France. June 5th, only on Spike, 4 p.m. Eastern. Glory 22 France on June the 5th is sure to be packed with some of the best kickboxing of the year. And Verhoeven's title defense against Adnik Bui is sure to be one for the ages. And who will win the contender tournament with a chance for a title shot at Robin Van Roosmelen? Well, you're just gonna have to tune in and see. I'm Bill Goldberg, and this has been Countdown 22 from Amsterdam.